Hello, hello, everybody. So welcome to School of Vedic Astrology. Uh, I'm Joachim, your host. And in today's video, I would like to give a presentation on Shravana Nakshatra. So last time I did Danishta Nakshatra. And this actually forms a pair together and we will soon see why. So first of all, in the night sky, um, it is considered to be in Capricorn. And let me see the degrees from 10 degrees Capricorn to 23 degrees of Capricorn. So this is quite interesting because it's the heart of Capricorn. And we also see that the motivation is Arta because the 10th house or the original Capricorn house is then also the strongest Arta house. So in the night sky, we have three stars, Alpha Aquila, Altair, Beta Aquila, Al Shine, and Gamma Aquila. Tara Z, Shravana is considered as aspect of the lunar energy and the head of the constellation Aquila, the eagle. Altair is the brightest amongst the three stars, and Altair, which is Tara Z here, I think. Oh, no, no, Alpha Aquila. Uh, or altar leads to the positions of power and wealth but trouble with the law the ancients saw these three stars as the three steps taken by vishnu as the vamana avatar so vamana vishnu decided to become uh, the son of aditi which is um, which is the deity of Punarvashu Nakshatra. I was checking some yogas, but not everything seems to be so in correlation because it's sixth and eighth aspect only in the fourth pada of of uh, or the first pada of Shravana related to the fourth pada of Punarvashu. I would say there is a yoga formation there in opposition, which is then also the Cancer and Capricorn part. So this is quite interesting. So in the night sky here, we got Altair. Uh, these three stars in the constellation of Aquila. And we see that actually these lunar mansions in this part of the sky, they intend to go also here. Then we have Purva Bhadrapada, Nutra Bhadrapada uh, in Aquarius here. It's a little bit above the solar ecliptic. Uh, and so, but there is all good mathematical reasons these ancients were very advanced to take those star groups to be uh, the, the representation of the nakshatras. Now, the root word goes back to Shru and is to hear and to learn. So other ancient names is Hari, Vishnu, Vaishnav, uh, Shravana Bam, Shruti. So it is all about hearing, meaning is to hearing and listening. Or one who limps or lame listening equipment. Mm. So we will see that a little bit later here. And also the, the Gana is Deva, similar to Punarvashu. Uh, anything else? Raja, Mlecha. It is kind of a bit of an outcast because they really, they love to go traveling to foreign places and, and to hear to uh, spiritual lectures or find some spiritual pursuits these natives so they kind of quit their job suddenly and just go out and explore to to search for higher truths in life so this is a quite common theme so the deity vishnu govinda preserver of the universe or the pervader vamana avatar of vishnu uh, there is a whole story in Srimad Bhavatam about the three footsteps uh, that he took that uh, Bali Maharaj was uh, ignoring the instructions of his Gurudev so this was quite uh, yeah eventually it became in his favor because the, the Supreme Lord himself uh, put his uh, last footstep on his head or something and also the Saraswati, goddess of learning, is associated with Shravana. And that's how the correlation goes with Danishta. Because this, this, this rhythm and music is not just hearing to spiritual lectures, but it's also hearing the inner silence, the, the, the spiritual Om, 
and all these sound vibrations uh, that are related. So music is a big concept in, 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 in Danishta and Shravana. And also the symbol, of course, is the ears because it is uh, through the ears that we hear. Uh, and also the arrow and a garland, which again, the arrow here would be related to Punarvasu Nakshatra. So I was really checking if there would be any yoga, but it's only in specific padas, which an Aditi Vamana Yoga would be established, but uh, I have not find this in any concept. So maybe we can create a new yoga for, for the sake of at least finding correlation between Punarvasu and uh, Shravana, with Aditi and Vamana, because it was the Supreme Lord, according to Srimad Bhavatam, it is the Supreme Lord Vishnu, uh, Krishna Govinda, who took birth as the son of Aditi. So it's, it's, it's quite surprising that the ancient sages did not um, find the yoga. Also, the Tara would be seven, which gives destruction, but... Anyway, the deities rule the nakshatras, so that is primarily uh, the, the 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 source of of yoga, I would say, not just Tara. But anyway, yes, yeah, six and eight does not correlate, so it is only seven and seven in opposition through uh, through the first degrees of Cancer and the first. Pada or the first two Padas of Shravana. Now in uh, Srimad Bhavatam we see that the sages were giving a lot of importance to Nakshatra theory. So every fanatic who says that we should not use astrology or it is Maya or it is not bona fide, well I can give you a whole bunch of verses uh, thrown into your face. Uh, which proves differently. So anyway, on the day of Shravana Dvadashi, the 12th day of the bright fortnight in the month of Badra, when the moon came into the lunar mansion of Shravana, at the auspicious moment of Abhijit, the Lord appeared in this universe. That was Vamanadev. This is then uh, Canto 8. Considering the Lord's appearance very auspicious, all the stars and planets from the sun to Saturn were munified efficiently charitable so that is quite auspicious if you have malefics working in your favor this is really a good time so in the purport we have Srila Vishwana Chakravarti Tagur an expert astrologer by the way also Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur the great spiritual teacher of Srila Prabhupada uh, was an expert astrologer explains the word nakshatra tara dya the word nakshatra means the stars the word tara in this concept or concept context refers to the planets and adya means the first one specifically mentioned among the planets the first is surya the sun not the moon now this is quite a bit complicated what follows because um, yeah the sun supposed to be closer to the earth than the moon in Vedic cosmology. Uh, yeah, this is quite dimensional and uh, you have to have like a whole deep research into this matter why that is considered to be like this. But there is good reason for that. Mm. So therefore, according to the Vedic version, the modern astronomers' proposition that the moon is nearest to the earth should not be accepted. This is heavy stuff. The chronological order in which people all over the world refer to the days of the week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, corresponds to the Vedic order of the planets. Yeah, it's quite Saturn, he yeah, rules Saturday, so he's the outcast, he's the, the last planet. Mm corresponds to the Vedic order of the planets and thus circumstance 
circumstantiatedly the Vedic version. Apart from this, when the Lord appeared, the planets and stars became situated very auspiciously according to astrological calculations to celebrate the birth of the Lord. So if you want to dive deeper in that, the whole the whole fifth canto of Srimad Bhavatam explains all of this. Why this is also the correlation to Abhijit. So the first minute of not the first degree, the first minute of the first degree of Shravana has still a part of the Abhijit calculations. So it's quite auspicious, but mostly it's the final parts of Uttarashada because Abhijit is then also the unconquerable. And Krishna also explains from all these Taras, he, he is uh, Abhijit. But okay, this is the 28th system and it's kind of. Uh, very it's oh, yeah it's quite mathematical to have an unequal system of 28 nakshatras so uh oh, you have to do research but this goes beyond the scope of uh this presentation so we leave it like that now bhagavad gita shruti uh hearing Yes, so if you become conscious of me, Krishna says, you will pass over all the obstacles of conditioned life by my grace. If, however, you do not work in such consciousness, but act true false ego, not hearing me, you will be lost. So it's quite important that we at least try to hear what Krishna has to say especially through Bhagavad Gita. Uh, yeah. And then another verse, the Supreme Personality of Godhead Krishna said, Now hear, O son of Prita, how by practicing yoga in full consciousness of me, with mind attached to me, you can know me in full, free from doubt. So by hearing Krishna, we can know Krishna. And another verse again there. Ah, oh yeah, this is one of my favorite verses because it actually gives a lot of hope to uh, to devotees who are not operating at the highest level. So again, there are those who, although not conversant in spiritual knowledge, begin to worship the supreme person upon hearing about him from others. Because of their tendency to hear from authorities, they also transcend the paths of birth and death. So this is completely amazing that uh, there is also hope uh, just by hearing. So if you at some point have the good fortune of meeting a person which can operate as your teacher and your guru and mentor. And uh, oh, yeah, then um, one of the symptoms is that you have, because this is, this is, will be Krishna's grace. You have the taste to over and over and over again to listen to the words that he is speaking. That is where you will at least in one way recognize that this will be your teacher. Now, <clears throat> Shravana means the act of acquiring knowledge. It comes from the root Sanskrit Shru, which translate as to hear. It is common approach to acquire knowledge figuratively by listening. So the literal meaning of Shravana is acquiring knowledge by listening. Hence, this nakshatra is termed as the star of the learning ear. Ear is a very straightforward symbol of this star. Listening to the silence and the Nada Brahma, the eternal sound of the universe, also called God's voice, reveals the beauty and harmony of the cosmic music. So we see also again, this is the correlation between Shravana and Shravishta or Danishta. This nakshatra gives the capacity to the native to hear the astral sounds of Krishna's flute. Yeah, so there is a whole, that's what devotees are trying to do. They're actually trying to hear because they, their meditation is in Vrindavan with Govinda, Krishna, Kanai, 
and the gopis and the villagers and the friends of Krishna and he is playing a musical instrument there in Vrindavan eternally and it is said when he starts playing the, the water stops streaming the, and uh, there is this quite a, it's one of the highest forms of sound it, it is the highest form of sound vibration it transcends even the root word om because personally i think the the, the root word om comes from this this uh, musical uh, instrument and the celestial bells or the cosmic om this nakshatra has association with the parampara and gurukul systems where there is guru and shisha type of relationship shiksha i would say this is a kind of typing mistake shiksha type of relationship and shastras are mastered by listening and serving the guru so you receive instructions this nakshatra is considered as the birth star of goddess saraswati as the birth star it signifies and bestows scholarship educational proficiency respect for the shastras knowledge etc the eminent men in the field of education and knowledge the man who is listened to by others with respect is influenced by this star hence ravana nakshatra rules all kinds of oral communications and when focal Planets are placed in this asterism tend to make the native talkative, effective speakers as well as good listeners. They are gifted in delivering speeches and sermons in rhythmic and melodical structure manner. They can make good news readers, masters of ceremonies, radio jockeys, etc. So now in the future when somebody asks you why Danista and Shravana is a pair nakshatra, you have the answer right here. Now, when this goes back, bad here, talkative uh, um, energy can uh, transform into gossip. So these natives have to watch out from gossip if you have uh, malefic influences in this uh, star. Shravana natives have great capacity and thirst for knowledge, information and the rare ability to develop wisdom in life. They make great teachers, professional listeners, perpetual students. Counseling is a gift for they have the ability to truly listen. Their sense of hearing can be very acute and sensitive. So if you have like, if you have prominent planets in Uttara Bhadrapada and Shravana and Shravana and Uttara Bhadrapada are connected, you are definitely a wise person. You are definitely a teacher, a guru, a philosopher, someone who shares knowledge with others. <clears throat> so the power of Shravana is Shamanana Shakti, which gives the native the power to connect to higher levels of consciousness and it can lead the person to deep meditation. Yeah. Natives will be good and learning foreign languages and traditions easily. So these people, you have Vamana, he took the three steps. So walking, traveling, going to places and learn and teach is a very common concepts of this nakshatra these people like to learn by listening to audios uh, or watching youtube videos shravana has to be strong for this to happen natives with their focal planets placed in shravana will be good communicators negotiators and can make effective speakers and orators Mm. Yeah, since the footstep symbolizes walking and leaving an imprint, Shravana natives like hiking, cycling, running and traveling in general, especially with 9th Lord, 12th Lord and the 3rd Lord uh, is placed in short and frequent travels, long distance travels. We have to check all these things and also to connect to spirituality, to do deep meditations, like if this is yeah, tent lord in this or uh, tent house position as an Aries native. So these people can suddenly uh, take a break from work and, and, and go to India or, or Nepal or Thailand uh, to do all kinds of meditations and just explore. So the strength is great capacity for learning, success in foreign lands, lives prosperous, balanced, modest, ethical, studies scripture, ancient knowledge. 
So uh, when eight and fifth lord is involved or eight fifth house is connected, yeah, these people will know ancient languages like Sanskrit, Chinese, Japanese, Russian, you know it. Social and humanitarian causes uh, helps others transform their lives, especially by teaching and sharing knowledge. Has a good marriage, helpful partner, good speaker, well liked, cordial in business, creative, quick learner, knowledge to transcend them. This is a good nakshatra. Eh? Uh, so yeah, also moon. If the moon is involved, uh, that is good. Jupiter is. If you have Jupiter in in in. In Shravana, in the first house, yeah, then, uh, wow, mm, that that is really, really good, yeah. Because Jupiter, I think, wait a minute, uh, oh, no, yeah. Hypersensitive is the weakness, overly concerned with reputation, pessimistic, so I have to watch out from the ego a little bit, if malefic sun is in there, unyielding nature, extreme views concerning with ethics, yeah, overly talkative also, eh? and 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 gossiping, jealousy, and and all these things may lead to debt and poverty. So, yeah, uh, we have to analyze the chart, but this is kind of the shadow side. But in general, if you have moon and ascendant there, you, um, you tend to have a tender heart. You are social. You can be possessive and sometimes a bit selfish and sensitive by nature. You give out love easily to those around you and expect love and respect in return for this. You can be jealous and can be demanding and have expectations. Similarly, like Danishta again, the shadow, pardon, is the shadow side of Danishta. Uh, and uh, Shravana also go a little bit hand in hand. Mm. You're sensitive to comments and can get upset easily, but you have an intuitive tendency and is a good listener. You like to be respected and are attached to your family. You may also be good at dancing, love music, and will have a talent for translating spiritual wisdom to the common man. So nice. And okay, the Ganesh uh, part to uh, worship because Ganesh has 32 forms. This is the 27th one and is uh, represented with two faces who could see all directions. He has a bluish green color complexion. His name is Vimuka Ganapati. Mm. He has red silk attire and his beautiful jeweled crown adorns his appearance with four hands. Mm. And the main right hand holds his broken, giving assurance to the devotees. And in the upper right hand holds an elephant goat. In the main left hand holds a uh, Ratna Kumba, pot of precious gems. And in his upper left hand he holds a goat. So quite an interesting... Um, Quite an interesting form of Ganesh uh, in the Badrinath temple in India. Uh, they worship him. And you can do a little bit extra research here because he yeah, had a man with two faces. This is Purva Bhadrapada, right? So, but in this case, Shravana not really has two faces uh, unless when it comes to the shadow side of jealousy and gossip. That's where, yeah, people go behind your back and uh, or smile in your face and think something different. But that would be the only case. And then there is also a Gayatri mantra. Om Vishnu Ra Radha Tamasi Vishnu Snapvesto Vishnu Surasi Vishnu Duvashi Vaishnavamashi Vaishnavit Fam. Okay, so this you can chant if you're suffering from the shadow side of Shravana, you, you feel. And there is also Nakshatra Vedic Mantra, which you can all, always chant when moon, every month, when moon transits to Shravana, you can, you can recite these uh, mantras. Om Vishnu, Ratmasi Vishnu, Shanpatrishto Vishnu, Sayurshish Vishnu, Druvosi, Vaishnavmasi, Vishnaveta, Om Vishnave Nama. So it's really directed to Lord Vishnu, the preserver of the universe. So that's it for me. Uh, thank you for liking and subscribing. I'm uploading since the Telegram channel is not so much in uh, demand. It's more the WhatsApp group and I have seen more, more people are joining. So actually the link of our WhatsApp group is still 
is still valid so i thought this was changing and some people cannot enter but okay the most activity is in our whatsapp group at school of vedic astrology the the project is growing uh, which is nice and there's a whole bunch of really nice people sharing information and uh, asking information so there is a lot of activity there so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to upload my uh, my books uh, in pdf file on the telegram channel and you can just uh, download them from there so that is and i will Maybe just share some articles on the Telegram channel. And for those who already subscribed, yeah, you can just check it out. And also the Instagram. We have an Insta uh, Instagram account and you can, you can also contact me there. Also, my email is in the description box if you want to have a consultation. Uh, online, uh, I host consultations with a share screen of your personal birth chart and you can ask me anything. So that's it. Thank you again and I will see you in the next video.